In this video, we're gonna show you how you can use a mucus clearance device to help clear your airways. Now, our preferred go-to product is the one we're using here. It's the Air Physio Mucus Clearance Device. This is not a product placement video, but we have an affiliate Amazon link in the product description below, but we haven't been paid to do this video by the Air Physio company. This is just our preferred advice, and we're gonna show you how you can use this successfully to help clear your airways. The Air Physio has two features that help you clear mucus from your airways. Let's have a look at what they are and how they can be useful. The first thing the device does is slow down the air as you breathe out, and it achieves this by making the air pass through the small tubes and the small air vents on the top of the device. This creates the positive expiratory pressure, often abbreviated to PEP or PEP. This increase in pressure keeps your airways open, rather like putting air in a balloon. Let me show you. Restricting the outflow helps to splint the airways. So if you imagine the balloon was your lungs and the tube of the balloon here is your airway, if I don't splint the airway and just let go, you'll notice that the end of the balloon wobbles, which is what can happen to your airways sometimes when you try and exhale too quickly. Now watch what happens when I splint the end of the balloon. The neck of the balloon there will maintain its shape. And that's how positive pressure works when we're breathing by pursing our lips, by restricting the airflow using a device. We can usually exhale easier because our airways are not loose and floppy. So that's how positive expiratory pressure works. The second smart feature is this ball bearing, which moves up and down rapidly to oscillate the positive expiratory pressure, creating small but rapid pressure changes which create a vibration through your airways and chest. This vibration can help to loosen stuck mucus. Let's have a look at the best way to use the device. Firstly, make sure you're hydrated and then sitting comfortably. And have some tissues ready if you're gonna cough up some sputum. Slowly inhale through your nose and hold your breath for three seconds. Seal your lips around the device and breathe out so the air passes through the device. Two things will determine how effective this device is for you. Number one, you need to exhale with the correct amount of force. Not enough and the ball bearing will not cause the oscillation, it will not flutter up and down. And with too much force, this will cause the ball bearing to rise up continually and again not oscillate or flutter. So you need to exhale with the correct amount of force and that can sometimes take some skill or some working up to if you have some weakness in your lungs that's preventing you from exhaling as hard as you would like to. The angle of the device also makes a difference. Not enough and the ball bearing will not hover over the hole. And if the device is too vertical, you've also found that the oscillation is also reduced. We found that the best angle is about 45 degrees and you'll notice that the angle of the neck of the device is designed such that it usually puts the device at about 45 degrees. If you have the neck of the device on the horizontal plane, it's recommended that you use the device for five to 10 minutes, one to three times per day because the use of the device requires you to breathe more or deeper than usual, it can cause you to feel lightheaded due to the reduction in carbon dioxide in your bloodstream. This is not generally dangerous, but it should cause you to stop or normalize your breathing until your lightheadedness stops. At any point during the use of the physio device, if you feel an increased need to cough, then stop using the device and see if you can cough up any previously stuck mucus. Some people have asked me, is it bad for you or dangerous to swallow mucus? Now the answer to this is that it's actually normal and a natural process to swallow mucus. And we do this all the time, it's a natural bodily process. So that's it for this video. We do recommend this device. Please let us know in the comments below if you've got one and you've tried it and any other tips that our other viewers might find helpful. 
Thanks for watching. Please share this video with anybody you think might find it helpful.